With Bitcoin back in the news and on the rise, you're going to hear this a lot over the next few weeks and months. It's a bubble. It's tulips. And we laugh at the tulip mania of 1637. People were paying the equivalent of hundreds of thousands of dollars for one tulip bulb. Stupid Dutch. How could they be so thick? And that was 1637. And here we are in 2024, 400 years later. And where has the centre of the global flower industry been for the last 400 years? Holland. That bubble brought centuries of prosperity to the Dutch, and it still does. You often get manias around new technology, but they serve a useful purpose. They accelerate investment and they accelerate adoption. Many lost their shirts in the railway bubbles of the 19th century. Yet how do we all, almost all of us, get to work in the morning today on the train? Dot com was a bubble. And what do most of us spend all day using? The internet. But when the purpose of that exciting new technology is to be a new system of money, as is the case with Bitcoin and crypto, well, then it's double bubble. No wonder Bitcoin is so volatile. It's had six corrections of over 80% since its inception. Six. Yet here we are, not far off record highs. I'll tell you what a bubble is. A bubble is a bull market in which you don't have a position. And to dismiss something as a bubble is it's just a psychological way of coping with the fact that you missed out. So if you hear the word tulips, you know what what motivated it.